This was my mom's favorite cake to make. She could whip up a jelly roll in no time for the family of eight. So we always had a dessert, even if there were hardly any ingredients in the house. It's not difficult to make. There's just a few little secrets that you have to know. We're gonna get right into it. Um, it's six egg yolks and six egg whites. You have to separate the eggs. It's very important. Put it right into the mixing bowl. And now notice the mixer is fitted with a wire whisk. Break up the egg yolks a little bit. Add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. And just add the sugar slowly. You don't have to do it too quickly. And one and a half teaspoons of just the best quality vanilla that you can find. And a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now I wanted to also point out, this is the cookie sheet. The cookie sheet is buttered completely. Then a piece of parchment is fitted exactly in the bottom, then buttered again, and then lightly floured. And shake out, make sure you bang out any excess flour like that. So that is ready to go. So now we need three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour. Do you ever use cake flour for this recipe? Uh, oh, my mom always used cake flour, but instead of using cake flour, we're going to use half all purpose unbleached and half cornstarch, which makes even a lighter flour than the cake flour. And here we're gonna do the three quarters of a cup of cornstarch. I use any kind of strainer. See, this has a few, the cornstarch has lumps. Yeah. See those lumps? So you wanna make sure you don't get those lumps. Oh, now look how nice this has gotten. So there's your six egg whites. Now six tablespoons of your same granulated sugar into the egg whites. Keep mixing this until it's nice and glossy. So the egg whites act as the leavening for the cake itself. Instead of using a baking powder, we're using egg whites to lighten and, uh, and also cause the cake to rise in the pan. So look how pretty. Beautiful, not dry. Not Looks like whipped cream on those. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Now we're gonna fold the egg whites into the egg yolks. So do some, and I'll just use this to start to lighten the mixture. That's a great trick. Now you can do the flour this way too. Oh, um, cool. And I find that, but I always like to sift the flour over. So that's how you get your double sift. Yeah. And you also are just doing a little flour at a time. So you just sift this over. And I think now we've kept it very light and I will just use the rubber spatula to make sure every little bit is incorporated. Go to the bottom and then lightly, lightly lift. So now carefully distribute, look how much batter. Wow. I mean, this that's is, those, that's from those well-beaten eggs, beautifully incorporated uh, with the flour, with the dry ingredients. And it's light and airy and it's gonna be filled with whipped cream and homemade raspberry jam. What could be bad? Do you ever use this one uh, for like a bouche de Noël? Like for this Christmas? Is, this is exactly the cake that I use for my Bouche de Noël. So see how nice and even this is? And this goes into a preheated 350 degree oven uh, for just about 20 minutes until a cake tester comes out clean. So now the exciting part. Very important, flour sack towels like this. You can buy these in cooking supply stores. Sprinkle through a sieve with 10x sugar. Confectioner's sugar is also known as 10X. And I think, oh yes, beautiful. Mm. Now don't over bake the cake. Uh, you want to make sure that the cake is no darker than that. And oh, this is coming away nicely from the edges. Mm, I think this is gonna be a great jelly roll. And I also put a little bit of sugar right on the top of the cake before I, before I roll it. Does that like also this. help with rolling or is that for no, flavor? No, it, but it helps with the flavor. It, it gives sort of a little bit of a sugary crunch mm. to the cake itself, uh, top and bottom of the cake, you'll see. Now, it's hot, so you want to just turn it over like this, bang. Oh, I think it came out. Oh, it did. Yeah, right oh, out. It looks perfect. Oh. And look, the parchment stayed in the pan. And now sugar it again. Feels good, it feels soft, spongy. So now you roll. And does the heat help it roll? Is that why you do it right when it comes out of the oven? Yes. And hopefully without cracking. And uh, there. And keep the seam 
on the bottom. There, let that cool. We have one that came out of the oven a little while ago and it is already cool. Now watch. And the sugar also helps prevent the sticking. Look at this, look how fluffy and beautiful. Mmm, yummy. So for the filling, use about one and a half cups of heavy cream. And this is going to be a whipped cream flavored with homemade raspberry jam. Look at this raspberry jam. It's about maybe a third of a cup or so. And this will be very tasty. Mm, look how pretty. And again, buy really good cream. I'm always looking for the organic, of course. I think we have to do that for our kids or our own health. Okay, so here we have our whipped cream on our cooled cake and go pretty much to the edges. Now roll this back up. See how nicely it rolls? Yeah. Look how pretty. And that this crust, this, this nice crackled crust is sugary and that really helps with the taste. Now a little trim would be good. Sometimes people do it on an angle, but I don't want to waste so much cake. So and I'm not gonna waste this anyway, cause guess what? We're gonna, mm -hmm. we're gonna eat this. Oh yeah. There, oh, it looks very pretty. With a serrated knife. Yeah, use a serrated knife. Use a large spatula to lift this onto my serving plate. Look how nice. That's been chilled for 30 minutes or so. It's, it's good to just let the filling set. If you wanna keep your pretty serving platter clean, you just insert a little piece of wax paper all around the cake. And then now you can sprinkle to your heart's content. <laughs> I'll cut one slice. Use a cake server. Oh, my mother would be so proud. <laughs> Look at that. Fabulous. Nice little dollop of whipped cream on the side and some pretty berries. So here's three forks. Let me know if it meets your expectation. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. you. Want to turn it? Go ahead. Yeah. Mm. The sugar on the outside, it kind of reminds you of a crinkle cookie. I know. That's way. what I like yeah. about it. Exactly. That's exactly what I like about that sugar. So jelly rolls can be filled with all sorts of things. Believe me, you are going to enjoy and love this particular version, raspberries and cream. <laughs>